The next object we're going to import is going to be, I believe it's four, 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 five. Uh, let me see. I'll highlight both of them just in case. Oh, there you go. Yeah, four slash four, the bread box there. We're going to import this using the quick selection tool here. Now, the quick selection tool works by simply pressing and holding the mouse over your object that you wish to select. So this tool works by sampling the colors that, see that little crosshair right there? See, it's telling Photoshop that it's saying, I want to sample these groups of pixels here. So it'll sample and select those kinds of pixels that are currently being rolled over by this tool here. So as you can see here, the more I roll over and click, it samples and automatically selects the nearest set of pixels and you can continue to do that all the way around until the entire shape has been selected so you got to be wary of that you know this works really well when it comes to selecting pixels that have a consistent color so if you accidentally roll over anything other than brown right now see like if I roll over this white you see now it'll start adding white and if I continue to do so it'll just keep adding to it well <clears throat> This selection tool has a add or subtract option up here. So if I accidentally roll over an area that we added too much of, we can easily, you know, deselect those portions by rolling over it and add to it again by using the same add and subtract option. These options again go with most of the selection tools here. If you haven't already noticed too, there's also an area here which will allow you to change the size of the brush. So it works just like any brush. So you can refine and fine tune the brush size so that you can select and subtract, you know, to your liking. Once everything has been taken care of, then it's just a matter of selecting our, or copying, I like to copy. So just copying our selected object taking it over to our document and then pasting it in place. There we go. And if we have any residue or elements around the side that could have been eliminated, you know, we can always run defringe on it or go back to the original document and fine tune our selection. Say. And this item needs I believe it's placed. Placed behind the tomato layer just like that just as a quick note I'm gonna deselect here one of your obvious choices for making a selection would be to select the pixels with the easiest choice for color or easiest consistently what is it called there your colors with most consistency which would be the white here so if I was to use that same method only this time roll over the white you see it's consistently white made it for an easier selection then I'd have to go to select and inverse to invert the selection copy it from there and then paste it which I think made for a cleaner selection maybe slightly cleaner but uh, we'll save this where it's at and then move on to the next piece which will be to select the tea kettle here